You've lo uploaded a new song on MySpace. We, uh, we consider it to be um, basically the new, the new single track to our album. It's, um, it's one of the better songs that we've written for this album. We're very excited about it. Got a, got a good feel to it. So yeah, we really like the song. So uh, yeah, we're looking forward to uh, getting it out on the new album. He rises from the shed. <laughs> <laughs> Where were we? Uh, with the new song on my screen. The new song, um, Life. New song, Life. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a different song for us, but to be honest, we're, we're such a changing band every time. We just we just flow and we feel it's, it's a good a good start for the next album anyway. Mm -hmm. The next album will be a lot. Um, there's a lot of the old stuff in there, there's a lot of the new stuff. It's um, a lot of different styles and life just sums it up really. So, fingers crossed it should do well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the first complete songs that we've, out of the new stuff that's been written, so it's one of the first ones that we have, so it's one of the first ones we've recorded, but it's turned out really well, so I think we're more pleased when we actually heard how it was recorded, so it's, yeah, it's good. It's heavy, but it's still very orchestral. And in the past, most most critics uh, compared you with Cradle of Filth. <laughs> now, no, but now surprising, I saw I saw some other critics comparing you to Dimu Borgir. So what what the hell is wrong with all this? We don't fucking care, to be honest. This, we are Ricardi and Throne. Is if people are liking us to this band or that band or whatever, we just we don't care. We just we write how we feel. You know, if if it's in the vein of some other band or whatever, then it's not something we've purposely done. Mm -hmm. It's just that's just the way we are. That's the way we write. We write symphonic, epic, black metal. Mm -hmm. You know, and if people want to liken that to Cradle of Crap and Demi Borgia, <laughs> we don't fucking care, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't have to ask you about your opinion <laughs> with Cradle of Filth because you already. Have uh, yeah, Cradle of Crap. Uh, Cradle of Filth, you mean? Uh, hmm. Old words, old story. The, the first album was really good. I mean, I don't like them now. I have respect for them because they're successful, but the music is too. Uh, it's too commercial for me. It's it's. Um, there's, there's no uh, there's no essence about it. It's all it's all vocals and drums and it's just not so, not something I like personally. You know I know I know there are thousands of people that do absolutely love them, but you know it's just my personal preference. I've never really liked them. Well, yeah, I'd have to agree. Um, I mean, they're a very successful band. They've done very well for themselves, so respect to them for that, you know. Um, but I'm of very much the same opinion, you know. The music hasn't got the balls, you know. It hasn't got the soul, in my opinion, you know. I mean, I may be wrong, you know, but that's just me, you know. I like what I like, and I write in the way that I feel, and, you know, whether, you know, whether people like it, whether they don't, what I feel, that comes out in the music, and... That, that, I think that pretty much well sums up the band. You can't do nothing about how people perceive you. People will perceive you the way they want to. You just got to do what you got to do and there you go. It's... On the Kings of Chaos album, um, I've noticed uh, some s several changes in the musical style. I mean, uh, you're, you're uh, I don't know, hang, going to the death metal genre. Yeah, what I'm there was, uh, it was just, it wasn't kind of like a new direction, but what people have to see is before Kings of Chaos half the band went and we had to have three new members in and a lot of them were rooted in death metal I mean we're all rooted in death metal yeah. you know being anyway the whole band likes but <coughs> into death metal it's always been there the influences yeah well I'd have to agree I mean um, like Knight says when Kings of Chaos came out um, Dean um, had just um, joined us as the vocalist and Daz had come in as the keyboard player and, and Andy um, like you said had been finding his feet after doing Requiems um, and they've all got very strong death metal influences so that really came through in that album and with Redimus it started to merge more with the with the, um, the more black metal sound that um, all the members like um, like Bob and, and Nigel and Dolan had and you got that nice, that good mix between uh, black and death metal that you found 
around in readiness. I think we feel with, with, um, with the new stuff that we're doing, we're, we're, we're keeping that mix, but we're also starting to move back towards the, um, the, the more symphonic black metal sound like we had on Slaughter, you know, back, yeah. back to the start, you know, and we're, we're really keyed up about the fact that we're, we're getting back to the, the original sound that we had. In your opinion, uh, how important do you think is the, the atmosphere for uh, symphonic black metal? Um, well, for me, it's a big thing. Um, that's just the music I've grown up around. That's the music I like. It's like uh, you know, euphoric that uh, that atmosphere that you get off certain vibes, like say Anathema or My Dying Brides. Certain albums of Dimmy Borgia gives you that. Um, that air of I think if you can find an album that you can lie back on your bed and close your eyes to, and yeah. if, if you want, you know, do whatever you want, you know. Smoke a spliff, drink a beer, whatever, you know. If you can, if you can lie back on your bed and close your eyes.